Hello, I'm Joe Tilger, the Environmental Health Manager with the City of Rowlett. I'm here today to talk about mosquitoes and West Nile virus disease. In 2012, a significant part of North Texas experienced the largest outbreak of West Nile to date. West Nile is a viral disease that can principally affect humans, horses, and birds and is transmitted by the bite of an infected mosquito. Within the City of Rowlett in 2012, there were 10 confirmed human cases of West Nile disease and one fatality. In 2012, several ground applications of mosquito spraying in localized areas occurred where positive trap results or when a confirmed human case was verified. In late August of 2012, citywide ground spraying occurred, followed by two nights of aerial spraying, which brought about the end of the West Nile epidemic. In an effort to minimize mosquito nuisances and West Nile disease, Dallas County Health and the City of Rowlett will be modifying the monitoring and action plans in anticipation of another busy mosquito season. Mosquito control in Rowlett is the shared responsibility of the City of Rowlett, property owners, Rowlett citizens, and the Dallas County Health Department. The City of Rowlett contracts and partners with Dallas County Health and Human Services to provide mosquito trapping, monitoring, testing, and spraying if needed. In 2013, Dallas County Health will be conducting weekly mosquito trapping, monitoring and testing to maintain a count of the relative mosquito population, tops of mosquitoes, and the possible presence of mosquito-borne viral diseases such as West Nile or St. Louis encephalitis. A minimum of five permanent test sites will be monitored and evaluated beginning in early May and continuing to at least the first freeze in late 2013. The location of these permanent traps separates the city into five geographic zones. Should a positive result for West Nile or another related mosquito-borne disease be found, then Dallas County will ground spray an entire zone beginning as early as 9 p.m. that evening. Dallas County staff will contact the City of Rowlett of the impending ground spraying plans, and Rowlett citizens will be notified that day by the Blackboard Connect phone system. Also, the placement of signage in the affected areas and messages placed on the City of Rowlett's webpage. This streamlined monitoring, testing, and possible treatment of affected areas has been designed to quickly address and react to existing mosquito-related health risk. This modified plan is a concerted effort to minimize the threat of West Nile disease to Rowlett citizens. Residents can practice what is known as the four D's of mosquito safety that can greatly lessen the chance of mosquito bites and related disease. Citizens can also lower their personal risk to West Nile disease by taking actions at their own property and engaging in personal protection actions. The first D is to drain standing water. Residents should inspect their own property for standing in stagnant waters. When found, these items should be drained. Items at home such as flower pots, bird baths, clogged gutters, kiddie pools, French drain systems, non-functional fountains, uncovered boats, buckets, wheelbarrows, and any other item that may collect water could be development sites for mosquito larvae. Junk and debris such as used drink containers, buckets, tarps, tires, or even open trash containers could be an opportunity for mosquitoes to grow and develop within a few feet of our homes. Residents should also be aware that the outside grills can often provide a temporary cover for adult mosquitoes with some models containing a grease catch basin. These containers could hold a mixture of food material and water from precipitation. Residents that have outdoor swimming pools and or spas should assure that their units are always maintained to have sufficient water circulation and proper water clarity. Residents that see or know of other properties with an unattended pool or spa are encouraged to contact the Rowlett Community Services Division to have a staff member inspect a location to assure no mosquito activity is present and to minimize potential drowning risk to children. The second D is to be aware of increased mosquito activity that persists from dawn to dusk. Most mosquitoes avoid direct sunlight and hence wait to feed once sunset has occurred. One of the major groups of mosquitoes that is a transmitter of West Nile disease is the Culex genus. This group of mosquitoes often has high feeding activity just after sunset. Rowlett residents should try to limit their time outside once direct sunlight is gone when possible. 
The third D for personal protection is dress. Residents can take action to minimize mosquito exposure by wearing light colored, long sleeve shirts and pants. Clothing that covers exposed skin will offer more protection against insect bites. The fourth D for mosquito protection is to use DEET products. Mosquito repellents such as off, cutter, or other approved repellents can be applied to clothing, shoes, socks, and directly to the skin when the label states such application methods. Using these products when outside, and especially after sunset, can greatly reduce insect bites. Be sure to follow label directions and avoid application near the eyes, nose, mouth, and children's hands. These products should be applied to clothing when possible to minimize excessive skin exposure. Rowlett staff has already begun planning, surveillance, and inspection to minimize mosquito nuisances and public health risk. Take an active part in protecting your property, protecting your family, and staying informed. For more information and references, please visit our website at www.rowlett.com and select Mosquito and West Nile Information on the lower left tab of the web page. Significant postings of mosquito activity, spraying treatments, zones to be treated, and other information will be available on our web page. It's all of our responsibilities to make Rowlett one of the safest and healthiest communities in North Texas. Together we can make a difference. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about mosquitoes, West Nile disease, or any other of the mentioned items, please contact the Rowlett Community Services Division at 972-412-6283. That's 972-412-6283. We can also be reached by email or on the web at rowlett.com. Thanks for tuning in.